Well, hello there, great person, and welcome to another episode of Marty Scared, where we will find out whether I, Marty, will get scared today. We've got the scary compilation number version 27 today, and it's by uh, Bizarre Bub again. And uh, as I said, we are working our way downwards from the recent ones to the older ones, and uh, because they scare me uh, more than others. So... They uh, have uh, quite a, a good rate at, uh, of scaring me. And so, yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video and uh, let's see if we get scared. And uh, if we are, if I am, you know how we are scared. We are going to get scared with style. So let's see what he's got for us today. The source of the power is located. However, when he gets there, something unexplainable happens. The construction worker writes, Miss something? Today I experienced whatever it was. Okay. A power outage occurs at a construction Sorry. site. And so a construction worker is sent to the basement of the building where the source of the power is located. However, when he gets there, something unexplainable happens. The construction worker writes, Today I experienced whatever it was and wanted to upload it straight away. Mm. This is what he caught on camera. Please no peeker. Jump scare doesn't count. Oh, that location is beautiful. That location is just beautiful. Where are you, creepy peeker thingy? Oh god. I hope it's not gonna be close. Oh god, the humming in the background. Ooh, that corridor was so bad. Oh god, if there's something that's gonna get me. Ooh, no, don't, don't, why is he charging it? Why was he charging it? Is he an idiot? I don't see the faint figure. Where's the faint figure? I don't see it, I'm sorry. Yeah, there was a flashbang. I don't know why there was a flashbang, but... If I had seen it, it would have gotten me, but I didn't see it. It's just creepy eerie location. I can't think of a better reason for a pay raise. This is yeah. pretty creepy. Yeah. Yeah. Urban explorer Urbix Hill explores an abandoned school all by himself and encounters someone else there. Oh. Or so he thinks. Urbex this again. This is what he captured. Our good friend Urbex. Whom did you find, Urbex? Yeah, we know he's there, but I will tell you that in the discussion. Why is there a piano playing? I doubt there was a piano playing. Yeah, I saw it. It was down there. Was it? Oh, no, it wasn't. I'm sorry. What are you doing? What is he doing there? Why is he running around? Oh god, that... Oh, I thought those were eyes. Good thing that those weren't eyes. What is he doing in the loo? Why is he looking uh, behind it? Where's the creeper gonna be? Oh, that is weird. What is? 
It seems as though someone rushed over to the restroom before closing the door. But, as you saw, nobody was inside. Who knew that even as a ghost, you'd still be using the restroom? Spoopy has just been given a whole new meaning. <sighs> ghost hunters Yakazu and Diego visit oh, a no. hotel that's been abandoned for years and where many people have died. At first, Yakazu and Diego don't encounter anything strange. Oh no, but Japanese later guys. On, something happens that neither of them notices until looking back at the footage afterward. No. What they saw left them shook. Please, not unreal. Look. It's gonna be an unreal. I know. They're Japanese. It's gonna be an unreal ghost thingy. I didn't see it. Thank, thank F. Yeah, that's nothing. That's nothing. Ooh, that's nothing. Yeah, it's nothing there. Because it's just on the video. But then, when things couldn't get any more creepy, this happens. Oh no, no, there's gonna be the grudge. Oh god. Oh god. Could this have been the exact shadow figure from earlier, or is it something else? What do you think? Don't want to know. I can, I can live without Carlos knowing. Carlos Chides claims to have encountered paranormal activity at home. Oh great. From a wardrobe opening on its own, to his cat's strange behavior, Carlos can't help but think that there's something in his house. But the most chilling incident has to be this. Yeah, go to that house. It's gonna charge it. He's gonna charge it, isn't he? Later on, when he's asked why he has so many crosses on his wall, he makes a video explaining why. But what happens in the video left viewers unsettled. Pues bueno, aquí está la famosa pared que ustedes conocen y que preguntan por qué tantas cruces. Me salgo un poquito. Pues cada cruz, este, es porque mi mamá me la ha regalado. Ahí está mi familia, que fue el cuadro que se cayó hace hace unos videos. Y pues por ejemplo la de ahí me la trajo de Querétaro. La de acá me la trajo de Guanajuato. Esta de San Miguel de Allende. Entonces para He's too happy. Why are you happy, mate? There's a possible ghost in if your an house. If army of crosses can't protect you, then I don't know what will. Perhaps something that's not bound to a specific religion. Why is it always with this? Why? Why would the cross protect you? It doesn't mean anything to the ghost, perhaps. The ghost will just say, okay, he's got a stick in his hand. What's he gonna do? Hit me? You know, bad argument, bad, uh, um, yeah, bad point. Hiro and Tomo oh, are no. paranormal investigators who decided to visit Japan's most haunted tunnel, the Inunaki Tunnel. But unfortunately, both Hiro and Tomo forgot to book their accommodation before arriving. They had no choice but to spend the night inside the Inunaki Tunnel. They had a tent, so that was enough to provide some Ed. hospitality. Head. But it wasn't enough to block off the strange activity they encountered. Before calling it a night, Tomo hears something. Listen closely. Oh, great. But what happens during their sleep is beyond explanation. It's 
Switch out the light. Switch out the stupid light, what are you doing? Oh, don't peek. Oh god, don't peek in. Why would you sleep there, of all places? That open tent door is making me so nervous. So nervous. Oh god, imagine there's something crawling in. Oh! <laughs> yeah, it was something crawling in, I think. Yeah, got me. Oh god. I don't know what that was. I don't know. I don't want to know what that was. Looked like. <laughs> Looked like wasabi. Maybe sleeping outside of the tunnel would have been a better idea. But hey, who am I to judge those who live for the spook? Yeah, okay. That got me, so I scared once. The following image was sent to La Peque 25, who writes I received this image from the IMSS the Mexican Social Security Institute from here in my city. What do you think? Images are not as creepy. What is it supposed to be? Who needs sleep anyway? What is that? It looks quite lovely. Ghost hunter Dedo Nicole <laughs> recently know. explored an abandoned building like a swing. while checking out the inside of the exterior structure. He had that picture in because of the thumbnail. You can't tell me otherwise. 100% that was the th for the thumbnail. So he could have some really... Um, a picture that was crispy in a way and that you could see. I bet. I bet. Sure, this happens. What did What? Gonna be a running corpse. Mm. Why is he putting out his hand like that? Oh. I think that's the stupid. Yeah, I think that's the stupid Korean that got into the hospital two episodes ago. What are your thoughts on this? I will tell you in the end. Here's someone walking through a graveyard in the middle of the night and encountering something pretty spooky. Pay close attention, or you'll miss it. I hope it's not in my face. If it's in my face, I might get multi scared. Please don't be in my face. Ah, where are you, creepy ghost thingy? Why would you even go there at night? Are you an idiot? Why are you filming that one? What? I don't see it. Where is it? Okay. Now that's creepy. Okay. Oh, there's a ghost peeker. But we've seen that one already, right? Yeah, we've seen that one. We I got scared by that one and by that one as well. So they got me. So I got scared once. I mean, can't have it every day. Can't be much scared every day. But it was a good video. Quite some things that make you think. So let's recap. 
Let's recap. Let's recap, everybody. Let's get recap. Um, this one. I, I have. I have that I have, time. Have, have, have. No. What I want to say about this is this was such a great setup. Such a great setup. Location was such a great location. If they had been, I mean, they could have taken a dude in a mask and put him in the last room, and he could have come out of the room when he was, I don't know, two meters away and scared him. That would have scared me shless. You know what I was going to say? You know, but they did not do that. They just had this weird figure, apparently, and they. I don't know what that was. I can't tell you what that was. And then there was this light flickering, like someone switched on the light and switched it off again, and that was it. So, didn't get me, it was probably fake, and it was a waste of a location, unfortunately. See, what, what, is there supposed to be something here? I don't, I didn't see that. I don't know what he's talking about. So, next thing, Urbex, right, Urbex Hill? Good old friend Urbex Hill again. Uh, what's he doing? He's going to the toilet. And then there was, the, the, you know, I thought that something would be here when he left. You know, I thought he would turn around. So, yeah, that direction. Ah, this, you know what I mean. And um, he would see some creepy ass demon thingy, but he did not. He just went and left. I don't know what that was. I didn't even see the door close. Could have been the wind. And this one could have really been the wind because every window is broken and, you know, you just need some wind to close the door. Might have been legitimately the wind on the toilet. And this was... Yeah. Not enough. I think this was even... This looks like a video they are just playing. Just the video they play on their handy. I don't know. But that was supposed to be. And then. Yeah, here it was supposed to be something. If it had been more clear, it might have gotten me, but not likely. I don't know what that was supposed to be. And I think that was fake as well. I don't know. This was. Yeah. Again, mate, why do you think crosses would work? What makes you think it's a Christian ghost? I don't know. I'd have been a Muslim ghost. You know? Would have laughed at this. Would have laughed at this. I don't know what you're doing. So, yeah. And then the things fall down, and I think that's obviously doctored. Whoa. He's laughing. He's laughing like an idiot. If you're laughing like that at obvious strange things happening around you, you're an idiot. And uh, you are doing this for likes. So, I don't care. He's Lenny and Ben in light. I mean, he's better than Lenny and Ben. I like him, but... Okay. So, yeah, these ding-dongs. Why would they camp there? And that really got me, because there was such a great perspective. Such a great perspective. So there's this tunnel and it's supposedly haunted. I, I think I've heard of it before. I think I've heard of it before. And yeah, so there's this tunnel and they they sleep there for whatever reason and sounds were creepy. And why would they leave on uh, leave the lights on? I don't know. But then yeah, this perfect. The stupid opening where something could come. If that would have been a ghost woman. Mate, I would have had enough. I would have had enough. I would have stopped the video probably. I don't know. And ended it there. But there was only some weird stuff here. I don't know what that was. I don't know what that was. It looked eerie, looked creepy. Might have been an Onryo that is on vacation. I don't know what that was. I don't know whether it's legit because the the fact that they had their lights turned on all night makes me think it's fake because they wanted to capture this you know but it's just my two cents if you say this is legit i understand that as well and <laughs> what is that what is that doing here it's just for the thumbnail it looks like a swings 
I mean, let's be real. What? You know what? This might even be um, from the. Um, this might even be uh, uh, this here. Might be the um, where you put your hand on on a, a couch. I don't know how it's called. I'm sorry. I don't know the word right now. But that's where we put the, an armrest. I'm sorry. It's an armrest, and they photoshopped these stupid eyes on the armrest. That's how it looks like to me. And that's why it looks like a stupid effing Sphinx that I had a laughing fit about. So, yeah. Not scary. Not scary. And this was just fake as well. It's the pointy guy. He ran last time or two or three videos before. I don't know when it was. He ran into a hospital and. There was a ghost who ran in and tried to poke it. I mean, hasn't gotten him yet, but it looks like it's close on his uh, 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 on his tracks. So yeah, hope you don't get gobbled up by that. And this is just even this is set up. I don't know how they did it. It's set, it's set up because he just you know he went through the. Um, the tomb tombstones, he, he uh, walked around, walked around, and then he turned this one, panned to the side, and panned back. Only one he did that with. Why? Oh yeah, because there's the th this thing he prepared. Okay, that was that. Thank you uh, for watching this with me. I hope you uh, enjoyed it. I was not multi scared today, just scared once. Happens. Still an interesting video, and uh, yeah. I'll see you around hopefully next time. If you like this, uh, please consider uh, liking this video and subscribing. And uh, yeah, remember, please don't poke the ghost. Don't poke the entity. Don't charge the entity like these ding dongs did. And um, yeah, I hope that you have a happy, scary day. And always take care of yourself, please. Bye.